All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the opportunity to talk to you guys about a company called Pharma Green Biotech. It's a company that is just starting to focus on California grow operations, more specifically, looking to be able to grow plantlets as well as do some biotech material and stuff with their facilities that they will be growing and building in California. The ticker symbol will be PHBI and it will be trading on the OTC markets. Do me a favor and be sure to hit the watch button as we hear some of the material going through their investor deck today. It might not be an opportunity you want to look at right now, but it might be something where you look for some catalysts to see if it's going in the right direction in order to reduce risk. So give, that your, give yourself an opportunity by watching it on stock twits or watching it on Twitter uh, for some news coming out of Pharma Green before you potentially make that investment. Or if you like what you see, be sure to invest today uh, on ticker symbol PHBI. So I just wanted to highlight this as you go through the presentation, keep in mind that they are doing a Regulation A funding round uh, for Pharma Green. So if you are interested in that, make sure to go to update.pharmagreen.ca. I'll leave a link in the description as well as the comment section for you guys. Uh, so we'll be going through a lot of the slide pack presentation material, just like you'll see on the screen right now. Uh, but you know, you have the opportunity to kind of listen to me, but if you want to do more due diligence, feel free to do that. So let's go ahead and hop into the investor presentation. So uh, I was doing some work through the entirety of the slide pack presentation. So apologies as I kind of start at the very beginning, uh, but this is mostly looking at Q4 here of some of the material. So they will have an idea as to what their uh, cash flow statement will kind of look like as they go forward. I will say what they put in the slide pack presentation does seem a little optimistic, but it gives you an opportunity to understand the potential if they are able to meet these targets, even if it does get elongated a little bit, um, but it, it seems pretty opportunistic. And if they are able to say execute on what they have laid out in this investor presentation, could be a great opportunity. Now that obviously comes with risk, whether that's timeline risk, regulatory risk, and uh, just overall capital exposure risk, being able to get the capital necessary in order to expand this quickly. Um, but anyway, I'll leave that up for you guys to decide and we'll just walk through the presentation as it is. So this is basically a Nevada-based company specializing in advanced science of tissue cultures, more specifically looking at cannabis and cannabinoids, uh, and basically trying to enhance and preserve the quality of the product that they're putting out. So what they're basically gonna be doing is looking at the high quality cannabis flower tops and biomass, creating tissue cultures, cultivating schedules, and being able to, to grow and put out products every two months, but also focusing on cold storage of tissue cultures to maximize uh, and provide people with plantlets in the future as well. So Pharma Green Solution is a dedicated tissue cultured plantlet starting facility, and that's gonna help address the issues in the cannabis sector today. It's going to be outsourcing opens resource capital to focus on revenue generation and basically taking a revolutionary facility that reduces disease and contamination of the plants themselves. And they can supply millions of starter plantlets uh, with the ability to grow that over time, uh, just based off the fact that they're going to be focusing on growing these plants and selling them to others to be able to reduce genetic drift and, and uh, product quality issues and consistency problems folks in the industry have seen today. So this particular slide is focusing on strictly the environment that we're looking at in the U.S. market here. So the total addressable market for the U.S. at the moment is about 65 billion uh, today and it will grow to over 100 billion over the next eight to nine years. So that's a pretty expansive growth rate. It's almost 50 percent over the next eight years. So you're looking at high single digits growth uh, per year in that respect. Now, the key thing is with the financing that they have in place already, they're gonna build a state-of-the-art 12,000 square foot greenhouse facility uh, and basically apply for a nursery license in the state of California. They're gonna build that tissue starting plantlet production facility and supply the greenhouses nearby for third-party sales. And then they're gonna expand production of their own flowers and acreage uh, utilizing some of the tissue cultured plantlets themselves. They're gonna sell in-house farmer grade products and derivatives under the Pharma Green brand. So that's currently the business model. This is all the other uh, complex aspect of things they're gonna use underneath the botany and biotech aspect of their business. So we touched a little bit about the greenhouse all the way to the left there, the 
plant culture tissue unit, uh, which you can kind of see directly to the left, Main, making sure that they have the DNA testing going on for each of the plants to make sure there's no genetic drift, cold storage unit, as well as the nursery unit, as well as the extraction unit uh, for different products that they might want to sell underneath the Pharma Green brand. So this touches a little bit about the current corporate, corporate structure and what you potentially would be getting into. Um, they're obviously starting to get the California work pending at the moment and continuing to go forward. More specifically, looking at the 12 acre parcel here uh, that you can kind of see that they're looking and they have the opportunity and an option to purchase uh, after seven and a half years up to another 120 acres, uh, allowing them to give themselves run room to build additional warehouses uh, and growing facilities in the future. Interim financing at the moment is 1.9 million for a 12 acre area, 500,000 for all the license fees and stuff of the like, and then the actual million dollars for the development of the greenhouse. So approximately 3.4 million uh, involved in the actual uh, transaction itself. And this uh, will basically take 1.2 million in cash to do this, plus 1.2 million uh, in PHBI shares. So uh, keep that in mind as you do think about what they are going to potentially do as they continue to build warehouses and finance this. Would they be utilizing shares and diluting, uh, or would they be able to go to um, public markets and be able to get that from bonds or something of the like going forward? <clears throat> So this slide here talks particularly about an idea as to what the actual production facility might look like, looking at the entrance and the private drive, as well as some of the water facilities, units, uh, and the actual warehouse itself, um, and the property kind of boundaries that you can kind of see here for the entirety of the 12 acres. So take an opportunity to do a quick look at that. What you have on this particular slide is an aggressive timeline for what might Farmer Green be able to accomplish over the next two to three years. So we're kind of starting here in this 2020, 2021 timeframe, just getting ourselves kicked off the ground. And um, with that, you have the opportunity to kind of kickstart production next year uh, with the, the ability to get everything uh, approved by uh, the regulatory uh, bodies necessary in California. Uh, and then being able to actually start some of the plantlets as well as some of the uh, tissue culture work necessary in order to start creating some free cash flow for the business. Now, what I want to highlight is it does seem like this percentage margin is a little bit high. I would expect margins to be a little bit lower in a brand new business, especially as they try to ramp up and grow very quickly. Uh, but it just gives you an opportunity to understand and look at what kind of magnitude you'd be getting in. So the company right now is extremely small in terms of market capitalization. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to get in at the ground floor. If this does come to fruition, even for a fraction of what they're kind of predicting if timeline, timelines expand or margin kind of shrinks slightly, uh, you're looking at pretty extensive growth if things go really well. Uh, so just kind of keep in mind that each greenhouse will potentially get you $9 million um, in terms of revenue uh, per year at capacity. And they're basically trying to add one greenhouse every year between now and 2025. They obviously need to acquire more land, which talks a little bit about the 120 acres uh, that they might be able to acquire uh, with the option to buy that over the next seven and a half years. We touched a little bit about that earlier, uh, but they're also trying to build a tissue culture facility and those are potentially going to be able to have 3.6 million plantlets production at full capacity over the next four to five years as well. And that's going to be able to provide a decent amount of capital kind of going forward and free cash as well. So just take an opportunity to pause and look at if things are able to meet and they're able to meet their targets here uh, with the $12 that they're able to sell for each plantlet um, with their operating expenditures and the revenue contingency bills that they have kind of built in here, um, what the potential of the business might look like going forward. So I appreciate that was a lot to cover for Pharma Green Biotech in a very short amount of time. Be sure to check it out on the OTC markets uh, and on StockTwits at ticker symbol PHBI. It might not be a company you invested in right now with due to the risk or regulatory, but be sure to put it on your watch list at least and look for the news coming out, the news releases, and see if they're being able to make the right steps in the right direction throughout time. 
they should be able to start seeing positive results in the next six to 12 months. And then after you de-risk some of that might be an opportunity for you to jump in if you're not so comfortable right now. But be sure to put it on your watch list. Be sure to check it out as a whole. Do your own due diligence. Check out the slide pack that I'll put in the description for you guys. And let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out PHBI and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.